Thank you, Mr. President. Warm congratulations on your presidency. The basic premise underlying the theme of our discussion today is the erosion of trust in multilateral institutions and the need for reform. And it is indeed important for us to have an honest conversation on how to rebuild trust in multilateral institutions. Allow me to make four quick points as suggestions in this context. One, the UN Charter calls for resolution of any dispute through negotiation, where there are bilateral agreements on ways to resolve any pending dispute between parties, the best way forward would be for the international community to recognize the existence of such means and encourage the same. We have seen several examples in the past where bilateral discussions and regional and sub-regional mechanisms have been more effective in achieving mutually acceptable solutions to resolving disputes. Two, with their deep knowledge of local factors and complexities, regional and sub-regional organizations, particularly in Africa, are uniquely placed to find better solutions to conflict in their respective regions. We therefore support engagement between the United Nations and regional and sub-regional organizations in line with the United Nations Charter. Three, and in the context of peacekeeping, these forces need to be reconfigured to actively liaise with regional forces. It is equally important to build capacities and capabilities of potential regional partners as well as host states. We have done so on our part with several partners, especially in Africa. We also need to support African-led peace operations with resources and well-defined mandates that from their very inception also factor in exit strategies. And four, none of this would matter if we did address the elephant in the room, that we are unable to peacefully resolve disputes through the United Nations because its core body, this very United Nations Security Council, has been rendered ineffective. Unless we undertake comprehensive reforms and get this house in order, we will continue to face a continuing crisis of credibility. The new orientation for reformed multilateralism, which we advocate, which India advocates, flows from the idea that there cannot be genuine solidarity without trust. An overwhelming majority of countries from the global south, Mr. President, share our conviction that a reform of the UN architecture is no more a question of why, but rather when and how soon. The opportunity provided by the Summit of the Future next year should drive us towards change in the direction of a reformed multilateralism, including through the expansion of the Security Council in both categories of its membership. Finally, and regrettably, I am constrained to state that Pakistan has stooped once again to misuse the August Forum of the Security Council. Their observations are baseless and unfounded and therefore rejected in their entirety. The Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh are an integral part of India as a result of Jammu and Kashmir's legal, complete and irrevocable accession to India in 1947. Thank you.